Well, I'm trying to think. I, I just don't know if I can say my. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I have this like bad dream that keeps coming in my head, but I'm not gonna say that one either. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, oh, shit. what? Can I curse? I'm so sorry. Yeah. It was a lot of different things. Looking back, even if you guys don't use that, please send me the animation. I would like to see what that looks like. Lilybug, you should be sleeping. While well, you're up. You're stalling. <laughs> Do you want me to make up a story? This is one of the first dreams I remember ever in life. I like woke up in the middle of the night and like walked down the hallway. And I think I slept walked there because I remember the hallway looked like a submarine. And there were like fish everywhere, like when you're walking through an aquarium. And then I got into my parents' room and I got into their bed. And then I remember like waking up in a cornfield and was like, where are my parents? And then I had a Barbie at the time that had purple hair. She was like a rock star Barbie. And I remember walking through this cornfield and she showed up and was like huge, like 10 feet tall. And then she was like, we're here to destroy you. And then all of my Barbies were there and they were all trying to kill me, but they couldn't, they were moving like Barbies. And so it was like very swift, like karate like movements with their arms and legs. And then I remember like running through this cornfield and then I found like a hole in the ground, like a hatch. I undid the hatch and then I fell like through a slide. And then I woke up and it was the morning. <laughs> And I was like, well, that was odd. And I still, it was so traumatic that I remember it to this day. Panic's a local game. We made it, we run it, we keep it a secret. Strangers aren't welcome. All graduating seniors are eligible to play the game, right? And very few are eligible to win. I am on a bus getting ready for a football game. I got my equipment, I got my bag, I'm walking in with my team, getting ready, and I have the wrong color pants. <laughs> and my coach won't let me play. Mm -mm. Through this whole dream, the football game is happening in the background and I'm seeing it happening and I like see the people that we're playing against and it's like, I'd kill these kids. I'd, I'd have a great game. <laughs> but I'm looking for my pants and in the background, the clock is just going down and down and down and down. Then I finally find it and I get in the game and I'm running and I can't go fast. I'm going super slow, and everyone's catching up to me, and I get tackled, and I wake up. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's, maybe you need to go see a psychologist about it. I, you know. Do you remember when we were kids, and my mom used to say, if you swung high enough, you could kick the clouds around with a toe. I remember she said that the man in the moon was a kid who face planted in a pile of wet concrete. <laughs> I remember when I was, was super little, I had this dream. There's like a playground, and I go up to the top of the play structure, I go down a slide, and I go underwater. This, this, it gets weird, okay? I'm like swimming and swimming, and then like an underwater harp comes up floating next to me, right? And it has a face and everything, and we're chilling, he's playing music, I'm like, oh wow, this slaps. But out of nowhere, he starts playing this aggressive music. It's almost like, like trap music, on a harp. Like trap music is good, but trap music on a harp, I don't know about. And like the more aggressive the music gets, for some reason, my back starts to hurt. And he starts going ham on the harp. And like my back is just over here like twisting in knots. Then I woke up with actual back pain and that's like probably the craziest dream that a fifth grader, I don't, I don't know, could ever have. If you're the one keeps snatching our packages, I hope you're enjoying all the free mouthwash. Oh no, <laughs> I was uh, just, yeah, uh, bringing it to you, special delivery. It's for, for Dodge? It's for me, Dana Mason, and Dodge's sister. He never told me he had a sister. Don't take it personal. One time, he broke the state record at the Legacy Rodeo series, and we didn't find out until we saw him on the news. Rodeo. I was remembering a very strange dream I had. I was sitting in a, like a dining hall and I'm with all these people and we're just eating. And I could hear something essentially screaming. And I look over to the side and there's a horse that's like in a giant vat of water. 
And um, when I was asking everybody around me, they were like, oh yeah, those are the vats that will start boiling soon. And I'm like, well, there's a full horse in there. Can you get it out? And they were like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's going to be a lot of effort. But then me and a couple of people I was eating with decided to lasso this horse and pull it out of a vat. Isn't that, a, isn't, that, isn't that silly? Isn't that, what does that mean? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> if they know, they like look it up, tell me what it means. Remember kids, you wanna go out and down into the swimming hole. You miss it and it's gonna be the rocks that break your fall. Take a leap from the lookout and grab yourself 100 points, courtesy of this year's friendly judges, whoever they may be. Let the games begin! I remember being in this kind of school auditorium, and I remember looking down and noticing that I had this big hole in my stomach, and my insides were kind of hollow. This was after a breakup. Um, nothing to look into there. But I remember kind of looking down and being a little terrified and looking up and seeing this golden monkey approaching me. Then he came up and he put his hand into like the hole in me. And I remember it started healing over. And it was kind of this beautiful moment I shared with this golden monkey. And then he kissed me on the forehead and I felt uh, <laughs> like whole again. And I woke up feeling renewed. <laughs> Whoa, oh my God. I see the See you later. We have to try everything. Drink Hello. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn <laughs> science. <laughs> You guys are going to make me look like I'm in the show, right? You're going to put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't want to look like an asshole here. Sorry. <laughs>